In this video, I'll show you how to add subtitles to a video in Descript. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So Descript makes it easy to automatically transcribe your video or audio into a good, awesome text. But what if you wanted to convert the transcript into subtitles that will be burned in to the video? It's pretty simple and they've made this possible using an option called fancy captions. Now, personally, I don't feel I like the way it looks uh, because it's not the way subtitles should look like, but it does the job. So how do you add subtitles to a video in the script? Let's begin here. And I already have my transcript here. It's ready and all that and my video to the right. So all you need to do is press on control K to bring up the inspector. And if I press on it, control K, it brings up that the inspector. If I just close it and then look at this particular plus here, if you click on this, you'll still get the same options. On pressing F, you'll get the option to do fancy captions. If I click on this, what happens is that a six second fancy caption or subtitle is going to be added for uh, this particular range. And if I just scroll this section, you'll notice it appears here. And if I just play it slightly, you'll see an orange like box, rectangle, that. So what happens with fancy captions is that you need to select the range where you need the fancy captions or basically the subtitles once they're burned into the video to appear. Let's just delete this. And then let's say we want the subtitles to be burned into a video or added to a video at different sections. Let's say we want this to be here. So we'll select that range and then press on control K, F, insert fancy captions and we'll have fancy captions inserted for that particular selection from here to here. If we want it to go to, let's say from here to here, we also do the same thing, control K, F, insert fancy captions. And if you just uh, zoom out slightly, you'll notice that we now have fancy captions at two different spots, which is pretty awesome depending on the look and feel that you're going for. When you have two fancy captions on the timeline like this, remember their properties will be different. Uh, whatever uh, properties you work on for this particular fancy caption is different from this or they don't work the same way. For example, if I click on the uh, clip inspector, you'll notice that the font being used here is Roboto. I can change that, let's say to Manrope. And when we come back to this one, click on it, the font is Roboto. So every fancy caption or subtitle you add in this manner is going to be independent of each other. So remember, if you're adding fancy captions to the whole clip, you don't need to keep adding them uh, one by one. It's pretty simple to add this. Just let's just delete this, delete this as well. And then if you press on control A to select the full transcript, this selects the whole audio. And then if you press on control K, F to insert fancy captions, click on this, a new block is going to be inserted throughout the whole project that you have inside this particular section. So whatever change you make uh, for the fancy captions inside uh, the clip properties here, then this is going to affect whatever you get, whether it is uh, the font, let's say we go back to Roboto, let's say we go to a size of a lesser size, that looks good. Uh, that looks awesome. Uh, so uh, you can also do one level animations where you'll have these different options available, uh, whatever. Uh, basically, really depends on what you're working towards. So that is how you add subtitles or fancy captions to a video in the script. Once you're done, always remember you need to export your video with the band in subtitles. So I'll leave it at that and let you go try it out. Let me know how you fare on and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks a ton for watching.